As your project grows, you will often need to search your project to find notes or refer back to passages you have written. Scrivener has a variety of ways to search for words or phrases, allowing you to perform a broad search of your entire project or refine it to search more precisely within certain documents or document types or search within specific date ranges. To search for a particular word or phrase, click the search icon or use the keyboard shortcut Command Shift F to open the project search bar here at the top of the binder. Clicking on the magnifying glass in the search field will bring up a list of options, including where you want to search. For example, if you're searching for something that you're certain is in your notes rather than in the main text of a document, you could just select notes. We will keep all selected here to search everywhere in our project for this example. When I type white rabbit, we can see a couple of things change here. First, the binder changes to display a set of search results, which right now is displaying any documents which contain the word white or rabbit. Second, since we already have scene one of chapter one open in the editor, you'll see that the words white and rabbit are highlighted so their position in the text is easily visible. If we want to refine the search to only show us where the whole phrase white rabbit appears, we can click on the magnifying glass and choose exact phrase. You'll notice now that the highlights for the term rabbit have disappeared from the scene one document in the editor, leaving only white rabbit highlighted at the top here. We can navigate between these search results by clicking on them to load them in the editor. To find where the search term appears inside this document, click inside the document and hit Command F to open the Find panel. You can also open this from the drop down menu next to the search icon by choosing Search in Document. The term we entered in our project search will already appear in the Find field, so we just need to click Next or hit Enter to jump to the next appearance of that term in this document. The search term can be altered here in the Find panel without affecting the project search, so if I just search for white, I can search for that term within this document without losing my search results here in the sidebar. If you're done with that search, click the X in the left of the header bar. Note that the project search field will remember your search settings, so any more searches I do will continue to look for whole phrases until I change it back to any word. There are many other ways to use the project search. Let's say, for example, that you want to find all documents which have a synopsis. You could select synopsis from the search options, then type a single asterisk into the search field. An asterisk is a wildcard character, so entering it here tells Scrivener to search for anything with content. So with the synopsis selected, searching for an asterisk will give you a list of documents which contain anything at all in their synopsis field. It's possible to select more than one location to search at once, by holding down the command key, we can check multiple items from the search in list. For example, if you want to search both text and notes, but not titles, synopses, keywords, and so forth. You can also search by the date a document was created or when it was last modified. To do this, prefix the search term with C date colon for created date or M date colon for modified date. You can then type the date starting with the year, which will display search results for all documents created that year, then the month, then the day, if you want to narrow it down that far. You can even add a greater than or less than sign if you want to find documents modded before or after a specific date. For instance, typing mdate colon greater than 2017-08-09 will find all documents modified on or after 9th of August 2017. If you don't need to perform such a thorough search, you can use the quick search field in the toolbar. Just select it, type some text, and the most relevant hits will appear beneath the bar where you can simply click on an item to load it. Scrivener has other search tools such as Find by Formatting, which allows you to search for text with specific formatting, but these are worth exploring for yourself or with the help of the Scrivener user manual. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you're interested in learning more about the features of Scrivener, our other video tutorials should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching and happy writing.